So this last weekend we had my buddy's bachelor party, Jake McCarty, and uh, been best friends since, man, a long, long time. And, and our other buddy who was in the military, Tom Slayton, has an obsession with blowing stuff up. So I had to throw this video in here. Oh, <laughs> we were just... See, I'm an early riser, I get up and get going. Uh, I'm thankful every morning, so I take the, I take the gratitude walk into my call and just think of all the things I'm grateful for and just think of the things coming up and uh, during my day and how I want everything to play out. But really just remembering how thankful I am for a roof over my head, for running water, for just basic stuff like that. It really just puts everything else into perspective and you just can't lose, uh, no matter what happens that way. Um, you, you know that everyone in your family is healthy and your immediate circle are healthy. Being grateful for that every day has just helped me a lot. Um, so taking that walk in the morning at you know between 5 and 6.30 a.m. just really helps me. And after that, I did some training this morning as I'm doing a uh, full, well, I'm doing a triathlon and I keep just talk, talking myself into it. So I'm trying to tell as many people as I can because I'm not fully convinced that I can do a full one yet. So we're gonna do a sprint triathlon in, uh, over in Lake Geneva, Wisconsin, uh, the end of September, and then we're gonna plan on doing a full Olympic triathlon in uh, Key West, December 3rd. And I'm just really teaching myself how to swim. I can doggy paddle, but other than that, I can't swim, and it would take a long time to doggy, doggy paddle. So did that this morning, and we're putting retaining wall up over at the Fort Atkinson Apartments, getting close to get on that blacktop in the driveway over there, getting quotes on that. It's important to, you know, we refinance something, you pull money out of it to invest it somewhere else, but then also take a portion of that and right away put it back into the property you took it out of um, because it's just gonna, you'll see tenfold on the value over over uh, a couple years and everything. So just, it makes a lot of sense to do that. So that's what we're going ahead and do and stick some money back into that and keep, uh, keep buying a great home for the tenants that we have there. They're just awesome tenants. So keep keep them happy and keep that stuff rocking and rolling. So since we refinanced our eight apartments units uh, last week on Friday, we gotta go and be with the bookkeepers and accounts quick to just make sure everything's entered uh, right in the books and everything. It's just so much easier to meet with them and get it taken care of right away as opposed to having me do it. There's some, there's certain things I'm really good at, like putting a deal together and like just from an operational standpoint of the whole thing, uh, once we acquire stuff and you know really, day in day out operations and how all that stuff needs to happen and you know having the vision of where we want to go and, and what needs to be done to get there but as far as just like straight bookkeeping and all that that's not definitely not one of my skills I get it I understand it I understand the numbers when I look at them and everything but as far as entering them and you know sorting them and it's just not my uh, forte. So where do we, where do you guys need to start? Or so this is the check that we got. Did uh, they give a summary of what they did? Like how much went to principal? I know. So I have. Do you have the breakdown of the expenses they charged? Yep, I have that. So that's why it's important to have a team around you uh, who are skilled at what they do, good at what they do, um, and it's just it's worth every penny uh, spent. On it and it just removes a lot of headaches, especially at the end of the year when you're going to pay taxes to Uncle Sam. 